Hello everyone, it is me, Final Ninja Doc, and I am here on Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. Uh, Hex is a bad hat. Sorry, in the last episode I told you about like the different uh, hats that my cousin put poor, all of my Skylanders into. She made Hex wear a Trojan hat. I'll just put her in something nicer for now. Would she look smart in a top hat? But it looks a bit big for her. Yeah, my cousin went around and gave everyone the propeller cap. Barrow? Yeah, we'll wear Barrow for now. So, we're gonna go get the eternal fire source. Let's go. <laughs> He's about to get a hit, and he just started talking. That's a nice name for a train ride. Express to Saturn Doom. And in we go. It seems that most of the places we kind of enter the same place. So like for this level uh, where we had to save the Malkin and we have to go here to the lava lakes. And in that barrel over there, we have the fire spell punk. Basically, he flies around with um, that, I think it's gunpowder or some kind of explosive thing. Then he cut, he sets it alight. He likes to hide in barrels, so if, we, if you take down all of the barrels, then you should be fine. But once he goes out of the barrels, he kind of, he uh, destroys them. Oh yeah, um... Hex, my cousin nicknamed Hex Scale Girl because uh, of her skeletons, her rain of skulls, her bone shield. Um, I think I might change her name quickly. Skeleton Girl or Skull Girl? I'll just call her Skull Girl for now because that's much shorter. Oh no, sorry. No. What does this do? Oh, different accents. I, oh dear. I'm wasting quite a bit of time trying to rename Hex. Yeah, so she's currently called Skull Girl. If you have a better name for her, please tell me because um, I need a good name for Wrecking Ball and and Hex instead of being called Skull Girl and Mr. Fluffles. Ugh. My nunchuck fails all the time. It's really annoying. Anyway, onwards and deeper in the mines we go. Oh dear. It's quite good. I didn't actually realise, but um, the undead Skylanders are stronger at the moment in this place. It, the Skull Shield can be quite annoying sometimes. Sometimes it can't though. Also, I just wanted to say, if you kind of cast a uh, Bone Shield, then you stay still and then you press it again it actually goes away if you kind of move away then it goes to a different place but Hex is the only one who can I think she's the only one who can walk through her bone shield so all the other Skylanders if they're going through a, um, a narrow passage uh, with Hex in front of them 
be aware because you won't be able to get through unless you, the person playing as Hex is nice enough to uh, let you through. So now we managed to switch the tracks, let's get back in the train. We Choo choo. Doesn't look that deep because you if you look behind you then you would have seen like looks like you're outside. And there's another problem with the tracks. Mm, apparently they don't. I've got an idea. When I come back I'm gonna cast the bone shield if I can. Then I'm going to uh see if <laughs> the train can actually get through. And we have a cannon. I just wanted to say, I think the eternal fire source is the um, is uh, the second to last eternal source. Right, so we have fixed the tracks. I'm just trying to get around here before we can actually, before I have to go th again, just kind of explore. There. Hopefully it won't break my skull shield. Or my bone shield. Huh? How did they go straight through my bone shield? I guess it's because I'm in the train with the digs. Another lever or lever? So apparently that leads to the crystal rocks place. I thought it led to laugh lakes, but okay then. I think with the fire spell punk, if you're near the um, barrels that he's about to explode, then um, then uh, you kind of lose health. Treasure here. Now if we just float over, I'll go and blow up these crystals. Can't we blow it up? I mean, uh, in the Skylands app, but Boomer likes to blow things up. Oh my god. He basically took out that thing in one go. But my skull shield, my bone shield. Oh dear. Hex is losing life and there's three of those fire creatures after her. I think one's got delayed. Die. Then the last one's kind of trapped. There we go. Hex can live to fight another day. And she couldn't have done it without the help of cheese. Right, before we uh, go there, I'm just going to explore up here. See what good stuff is here. Oh, there's something up there. I probably won't be able to get there though. And here we have the soul gem for a reptile. What can you do? Mega magma balls. I think that's basically he can he gets big balls of magma or lava. Right, I'm going to try and sneak around the train to get the bomb, but I doubt this is going to work. Nope. See, you need to get the bomb before you uh, get before you get the lever because otherwise you won't be able to blow that bit up. So yeah, Boomer like blowing stuff up. He seems to have a big supply of dynamite. Is he some sort of terrorist? I, I'm not sure. I wonder who it was by. Oh look, there's Grumshanks. Ah, run!
Do you even have the supplies to build them? Oh well. So, floating islands. That's nice. Right. So this is a, another puzzle. Basically, we need to push these blocks in the way of uh, those lava in the way of here so we can actually um, so digs can build more tracks over the top does this do much? yeah if you want to get that treasure chest you have to restart the level because you need to go up here um, you need to rearrange the rocks so uh, you can actually get across here and stand on that to get to the treasure chest. I don't think it really matters what order you do it in, uh, like what order you push the rocks in, because I think uh, the uh, guys who made the game are quite clever in how they did this. I mean, different different people do uh, rearrange the stones different ways. So if you uh, watch a video such as mine please watch this video so say like you've watched my video because you need help with this level so you want to uh, find out how to rearrange the blocks you can actually get through if you then uh, go along and try and do it yourself after you've watched the video and you do it a different way to mine then you might think you've got it wrong but I don't think that's the case I think um, because the fact that all of the uh, the blocks have like different ways. So like if you do the uh, if you push the blocks in a different order to me, then I think you can still get it right, although you did it differently. I think that's quite good. Right. See, like that block said, had the arrows uh, pointing to the different, uh, to two different ways. So I could have gone right, or I could have just done what I did and pushed it that way. Right, so we need to line up these blocks like that, then come up these tracks. to push off this one and then that's all of the uh, tracks done so now digs can repair them well done, we do we? I thought all of the Skylanders make a good team now without him so now we have tracks okay, so I already pushed the rocks in the way for you This is another part um, that the guys who made the game are trying to be funny about. Just to like give you a bit of entertainment. Wait for it. Wait for it. This is a long track. There we go. Hi Glumshanks. We just uh, ride on by without noticing he's in front of us. He's just trying to... He is running along the tracks trying to save himself, save his life from getting run over by a train. We don't actually see what happens to Glumshanks once he jumps off. Don't know if he jumps into the lava lakes or um or if he uh jumps to land or something. But he does survive. We don't know how. So these are the lava lakes and the eternal fire source is in that weird fire tornado thing and it, you can see why it says the fire skylanders are stronger because there's that fire gate over here and we're surrounded by fire or lava can I just say uh, if you destroy the barrels that the um, the fire spell punk was going to blow up then 
you can't actually blow it up. Yay, he didn't break through my gates this time. My bone shield. Knock knock, oh dear. Sometimes it helps when you're casting the bone shield because um, if you're right next to an enemy and you cast the bone shield then they kind of get hurt as it rises up. Right, let's find that fire spell punk. Does he create the barrels? Let's see. Yeah, the fire spell punk actually makes the barrels. Right, so if you've got five Skylander, then you can come up here, but if you don't, then it's kind of pointless. Because that's the fire gate. Now we've got to take out two of those big fire things again. Please do not blow up. Don't destroy my gate. I spent ages trying to build that. That's a lot of XP. I think a wrecking ball would have liked that. Hey, there was only two bones. Instead of however many it's supposed to be. That was really good because um, I managed to uh, when you're shooting out those weird fire creatures uh, they kind of bounce off of the bone shield because they got hurt. Um, yeah that hurts you. That still hurts you. Right, I'm going to keep on casting Rain of Skulls because I find it quite effective. And then I'll run over and get this ice cream. There. And now we can go and get the eternal fire source. Let's go. It's Eon. Looks like he didn't have enough time to get here himself. Or he could have used a spell to grab it. Oh yes. That's supposed to be funny, I think. It can be uh, quite good because Eon tells you what some of the Skylanders are. So, Flameslung here is a pyro archer. And um, Slam Bam's an ice yeti. And I think um, Zap's a water dragon. And Gilbert's a fishman. I didn't really bother listening to the rest. Some people say that Flameslinger is... Um, Flameslinger and Stealth Elf are brother and sister. What do you think? Right, so let's take down evil Flameslinger. It'll be good if I could kidnap one of these guys because I need them to open the fire gates. And, um, yeah, I need to fly Skylander. That was really good. It was like four hits with my Wing uh, of Skulls. Yes, I extinguished your Pyro Archer. Yeah, it burns not. Are you trying to give me a tan? I mean, um, I don't think Hex really wants a tan. So, this is a fire spell. The last head of the Hydra. Which we will be facing later on in the game. Because of the spell, um, Hex's hey, bones have gone purple. It looks quite good. Or weird. Because we always used to have them white. Oh, 
That's supposed to be fun. So, this is Sunburn, a faithful evil phoenix dragon. Who, like Stealth, I think Stealth Elf can do this, but Sunburn can teleport, and so can Stealth Elf, I think. This isn't very good because uh, because Sunburn can teleport, I think she's a girl. Uh, she can get through my bone shield, so it's not very good for this level, or for this part. I've got to get close to her so I can steal the food when she dies. What's the food? Yay, more pizza! The Fire Skylands seem to have a habit of eating pizza, or giving pizza. Did I... did that actually kill me? Um, he tried to kill me? Oh. Sorry, Sunburn is a boy. I'm not a doomed fool. Run! Uh, I think Hex could kind of die in this level. Now she dies, and that's a bad thing, because I've got to wait till we get to the ruins to heal her. So, now we've got to get round these fire things. No, oh, no, that wasn't too good. You can't stand on those weird... Uh, things that the, are formed when um, the fireballs pass. Because that hurts you. I will survive! Yeah. Hmm. Pebble? Hmm. So that's what um, Eruptor basically is. His name is Eruptor, and apparently he is an Eruptor. So let's take him down. Oh my god, why do these guys keep on taking down my bone shield so quick? I think the bigger the enemies are, the um, easier it is for them to take out my bone shield. That's not very nice though. Did that skull actually take out his, any of his damage when uh, he was... when he's there laughing? Any pizza? No, it's a watermelon. Basically, the opposite for what you should be having in a place like this. You have 12 though. Well, okay. Better not make, make a big thing about it. Right, so I need to cast the Rain of Skulls whilst I um, keep away from Sunburn because he can teleport. Right, oh. I was going to say I wanted to take out um, Sunburn first because he can teleport, but okay, I'll take out Flameslinger. It's a good thing that you don't have to attack, uh, you don't face any evil air minions because if he calls out Sun, no, if he calls out Whirlwind, then, like, all three of the air, like, three air minions at once, then, um, Sunburn, no, why do I keep saying Sunburn? Whirlwind is going to be able to heal other, um, the other air Skylanders, the other evil air minions. Yay, the Raptor is dead. Which means that Hex can, has survived this level. Let's get a pretzel.
the eternal magic source. He doesn't actually do much to take the eternal magic source. You know, if you really want the eternal sources that bad, why don't you just come and get it yourself instead of casting spells, sending minions, and making your face even bigger? Or your head? To the eternal fire source. So, we now have the one more eternal source left. I think one more ingredient for the... So basically, two more things for the... Uh, Core of Light. Is it two? I think it's two. Anyway, let's watch. And also good with light, I think. So it can burn away evil stuff. Uh, there is evil stuff in the Core of Light. I mean, there's uh, those weird ghostly spirits. To the big telescope thing. Hooray! Or you could come with me, because that's what you're going to do. I mean, um, this is quite good because we don't actually have to go there ourselves. Um, it shows you going to it. That thing looks ugly. So, this is the Weapon Master, a member of the Archean Civilization. Is that his head? At first when I saw him, I thought he was like a robot. Oh my god, I can't attack him. He's not like all of the others, I can't stop them. So anyway, I'm going to uh, look at him in the next level. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thank you and goodbye. 